Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and in this video we're gonna talk about a cool health bar UI design in Game Maker. So it's like this. We have this cool health bar UI in here. Whenever the enemy hits us, you can see the health decrease and decrease and decrease and decrease until we die. Okay, so without any further ado, let's begin. Well, in most game engine out there, the easiest part is UI, GUI, right? In Unreal Engine 5, in Unity, in Godot Engine, in all of them, you just give 5% of your time for your game to GUI or UI, right? But in Game Maker, it's not like that. They are working on a system, but it, it's not here, right? So in Game Maker, you can write your code, your game code, and give it like 20%, 30% to have a cool game, right? But for the UI part, you must give 70% or 60% or even 80% for just UI. Creating game is easy in Game Maker, but UI stuff is too hard to do. I come up with this state machine to make it easy for us to create a UI system. And I did talk about uh, GUI in videos before this video. And in this video, we're gonna talk about health bar. As you can see, I did import some element in here for our health bar. First thing is this background of our health bar okay and this is for our health and this one is for for example a stamina right and this one is for just drawing on top of that and at the end we should have this so when we draw all of them it should look like this right so let's begin you can see i set the anchor point at top left corner for all of these sprites and if you want to find out where you can download this UI it's in each.io let me show you so in each.io if you search for health bar you will find a lot of cool health bar in it some of them is free if you scroll down you can see this one that we have downloaded is free and by just searching that you will help them you can download them of course you can give me give them a tip and with that let's just create our own health bar okay i did import it in game maker studio all the anchor point is at the top left corner so let's just close all of them no, I'm, I'm gonna go to this object UI that we create before OBG GUI and I want to draw all my draw GUI in, in here, okay? So everything is organized. In video before this video, I did talk about how you can draw gem count, how you can have a button in your game and it's like this. When you collect a gem, it's showing us here and if you click on here, it will show us this dialogue, okay? That we will put some button in it, okay? So now in here, we want to draw our health bar. Okay, so for that, I want to create a function. So draw health bar. And now that we have this, let's just copy it and create it in this SCR GUI that we have created before. So let's just collapse everything in here. And in here, I want to create the function for that. So everything should be organized like this. Okay, first of all, let's just draw everything. Okay, so we can say draw a sprite. The sprite that we want to draw is draw SPR health background the saw image zero and let's just put it on zero and zero for now okay and let's just copy and paste this four time after the drawing this SPR health back for the background let's just draw this left one okay so for that left side right side and that me top okay so let me show you this meetup will be over all of them okay so if we, we just that let's just run our game to see how it look like it give us an error in here why because i think the game maker has draw health bar itself right it has draw health bar but we don't want to use the game maker one so let's just change the function name to draw m health bar okay for my health bar okay so let's just change this in here as well draw m health bar draw m health bar in here and now let's just run it now you can see we draw over gui the draw health bar in here but we want to put it at the middle okay and whenever the, the enemy hits us it should decrease okay this time it won't decrease it won't do anything right so first thing first i want to put it at the right location so first we should put it at the right location so the x should be at the middle and y should be decreased a little bit right so let's just have that so for that i want to create some variable to again make it readable for us so i want to call it x health so x uh, x of the health <laughs> the health bar okay and we need y as well y health okay so for the x i want to put it at middle right so so if we minus the position of this 
by half of the display GUI size, it will be something like here. Okay, let's just do that. So if we say for the X health display GUI get GUI width divided by two. Okay, so let's see what will happen for the Y. Let's just put zero in here for no, and let's just use this X health and Y health in all of these draws. Right, X health for all of them and Y health for all the Y's of the draw sprite with Ctrl C and Ctrl V. I did copy it and paste it in here. So let's just run it to see what will happen. You can see that it because the anchor point for all of this sprite is at top left corner and we set the X of this to be at the display get GUI width divided by two. It will draw it exactly from the middle of or a screen for the X, right? So what we should do, we should minus that value by half of this sprite width, okay? So first of all, we minus the position of all of this sprite by half of the GUI size. So this is the GUI size. All of this screen is GUI size. And we should now minus the half of the size of this sprite as well. So let's just do that as well. So with this, we can say minus a sprite get width and the sprite that we want to get rid of that doesn't matter which one you use because all of these sprite is are the same width and height okay so for example help back okay so we can use that and after that just divide it by two and now let's just run to see what will happen and you can see no it is at the middle right so let's just change the y value in here so the, for the y value of this health bar i want to minus the y value of this by half of the height of this sprite okay so let's just do that we can say a sprite it height the sprite that we want to check it doesn't matter which one you you use and divided by two and because the y direction is is like this we should put a minus in here okay so let's just run to see what will happen and you can see the health bar is at the right location and now for changing the health of the player by this left side how we can do that so you can see that this spr health bar left we should do something with this so it will draw some of it and game maker has a function that will draw a sprite part okay and with this we can draw this sprite some of that sprite right right a part of that sprite first thing that it need it need this sprite okay the sub image is zero and it need left top width height and x and y okay so let's just go to documentation to show you how it works and you can see if we want to just draw a part of this sprite it's like this if the anchor point is at the top left corner in this example and you will set the left for 58 and top for 45 it will be this point in here and after that you set the width and height of the sprite that you want the part of the sprite that you want to draw and it will draw just this part and you can read the documentation but i will show you what they are so for the left let's just put zero and zero and for the width and height i want to use a sprite get width okay like we did it before and for the height i want to say a sprite get height paste this in here and for the x and y i want to use the x and y of this health bar again okay so x health and y health so with with doing it like this we can just comment this last one out because we want to do it with draw a sprite part so let's just run it again nothing should happen it should look like before right it's just look like before so what we do what we should do we should draw some part of this sprite okay if we draw for example let's just put this in here if we draw from 28 it will be full health okay if we draw from 58 it will be uh, this much of health will be decreased right if we draw from 147 it will be draw from here and if we put 200 if we draw from 200 nothing will be there okay so the health is gone okay so that's how we, we are gonna do it for example um let's just again go to our sprite right put the anchor point something like here and you can see it give us 19.5 okay so if we set the left corner to 95 the health bar should be here but uh, with this you can get the number that you want in here but after that you should put it at top left again so we don't screw anything up okay so let's just put value of 19.5 in here and what will happen if we do this for left corner of our sprite that we want to draw a part of you can see it shifted to the left by 19.5 pixel 
So what should we do about that? What you should do, you should offset this X health by 19.5. So whatever value you put in for this left input in here, you should put it in here, increase the X health by that amount. So let's just run it again. And you can see the health bar is at that point that we want. So this video is getting too long and there will be part two. In that part, I, I will show you how you can um, change this health dynamically so whenever the enemy hits us it will decrease the health automatically okay not just with the anchor point have some value and maybe there is some type of enemy in your game that should decrease your health more than some type of enemy and i will show all of those how you can do that and decrease this health bar automatically okay so please if you want to help me and if you like this video please hit that like button it's very important to me it's my honor to have you at the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.